Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see how to configure basic EIGRP with IPv6. Here we are going to use uh, three routers 1941, then three switches 2960, then the number of NG devices. We will rename these devices. This is R1. Here we have S1. This is R2. This is S1. Sorry, it's S2. This is PC2. And here is R3. This is S3. And this is PC3. Then this is PC1. Now we will add a serial interface CAD on these uh, routers. Coming to R1, we will switch it off. Then we will add this uh, high speed uh, WAN interface CAD. Then switch it on. We will repeat the same steps on this R2 and R3. Coming to R3. Now we will connect to these devices, coming to connections, copper straight through, from R1 G0 slash 0 to S1 G0 slash 1, from S1 FA0 slash 1 to PC1, and from R2 G0 slash 0 to S2 G0 slash 1, from S2 FA0 slash 1 to PC2, from R3 G0 slash 0 to S3 G0 slash 1, from S3 FA0 slash 1 to PC3. Now we will select this serial DCE from R1 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to R2 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Then from R2 serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 to R3 serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. We will connect these uh, routers uh, from R3 serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 to R1 serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Now we will label all the ports we used in these devices. Here we connected to G0 slash 0. Here also G0 slash 0. And here also G0 slash 0. And on all switches, G0 slash 1. Here also G0 slash 1. Here also G0 slash 1. Here a serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. The other side serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Here we connected to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. The other end. Serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Here we connect to serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Then the other end we connect to serial 0 slash 0 slash 1. Here we can see total 6 networks. Uh, I am going to highlight all those networks. Here we can see the first network. Here we can see our second network. Here we can see our third network. Here is our fourth network. Here we can see our fifth network.
and here we can see our sixth network here we can see all the networks and ipv6 address we planned uh, here we can see for the network 1 we will use 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 1 double colon slash 64 and for network 2 we will use 2 double colon slash 64 then for this network 3 we will use 3 double colon slash 64 and for network 4 we will use 8 double colon slash 64 and for network 5 b double colon slash 64 and for network 6 c double colon slash 64 First of all, we will configure uh, network 1 and here we can see the network address we planned for this network 1. It's a 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 1 double colon slash 64. Here we can see the IPv6 address uh, for uh, these devices in this network 1. Uh, for PC1, we will give a 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 1 double colon 10 slash 64. And for this interface G0 slash 0 on the server R1, we will give 2001 colon DB8 colon AC80 colon 1 double colon 1 slash 64. Also, we will set the link local address as FE80 double colon 1. Coming to our PC1, desktop IP configuration, and here we can see uh, IPv6 configuration. So, coming to IPv6 address. Here we are going to give a 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 1 double colon 10. Now we will set the prefix 64. And here we can see IPv6 gateway fe80 double colon 1. Now we will configure this interface G0 slash 0 on the server R1. Coming to R1 CLI. Would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? No. Enable configure terminal. We will go to that interface G0 slash 0. And here we will set the IPv6 address FE80 double colon 1 as a link local. Also, we will set IPv6 address to 001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 1 double colon 1 slash 64 and we will give no shut command. Copy running config, startup config. We will verify the configuration. Show IPv6 interface brief, and here we can see uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0. Here we can see the link local. Also, we can see the IPv6 address. Here we can see our host name is Aurora. We will change that. Configure terminal. We will set the host name as R1. Now we will give the show command show running config. And here we can see the interface G0 slash 0. Here we can see IPv6 address, uh, link local. Also, here we can see the IPv6 address. It's correct. Now we will verify the connectivity in this network 1. We will ping from PC1 to uh, its uh, default gateway. From PC1 command prompt, we will ping to FE80 double colon 1. And here we can see we are getting the replies. Now we will configure this network 2 and here we can see the IPv6 network address we planned for this network. It's a 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 2 double colon slash 64. Here we can see the IPv6 address for these devices in this network 2. Uh, for this uh, device PC2, we will assign 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 2 double colon 10 slash 64. Then for this interface G0 slash 0 in this router R2, we will set 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 2 double colon 1 slash 64. Also, we will set the link local as fe80 double colon 2. Coming to PC2, desktop IP configuration. 
here we can see ipv6 address here we are going to set 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 2 double colon 10 also we will set the prefix as the slash 64 and here is our ipv6 gateway it's fe80 double colon 2 Now we will configure uh, this uh, interface G0 slash 0 on the server R2. Now enable configure terminal host name as R2. Now we will go to the interface G0 slash 0 IPv6 address FE80 double colon 2 as a link local ipv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 2 double colon 1 slash 64 no shutdown copy running config startup config we can verify the configuration show ipv6 interface brief and here we can see the interface at g0 slash 0 fe80 double colon 2 and here we can see the ipv6 address show running config here we can see g0 slash 0 and the details no ipv4 address Now we will verify the connectivity in this network too. We will ping from PC2 to, uh, to its default gateway. Going to command prompt. Ping to FE80 double colon 2. And here we can see we are getting the replies. Now we will configure network 3. Uh, here we can see the network address uh, we planned for this network 3. It's 2001 colon tb8 colon ac80 colon 3 double colon slash 64. Here we can see the IPv6 address uh, for these devices in this uh, network 3. Here we can see for PC3 we will give it 2001 colon tb8 colon ac80 colon 3 double colon 10 slash 64. Then for this interface G0 slash 0 on this router R3, we will give a 2001 colon DB8 colon AC80 colon 3 double colon 1 slash 64. Also, we will set the link local address as FE80 double colon 3. Coming to PC3, desktop IP configuration. Here we will set the IPv6 address 2001 colon DB. 8 colon AC80 colon 3 double colon 10 also we will set the prefix as 64 and here is IPv6 gateway FE80 double colon 3 coming to our router uh, R3 CLI no enable configure terminal we will set the host name as r3 now we will go to the interface g0 slash 0 ipv6 address fe80 double colon 3 as a link local also ipv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon acad colon 3 double colon 1 slash 64 no shutdown copy running config startup config we will verify the configuration show running config here we can see the interface g0 slash 0 link local address also we can see ipv6 address no ipv4 address set show ipv6 interface brief and here we can see the details now we will verify uh, the connectivity 
we will uh, ping from PC3 to uh, its a default gateway. Coming to PC3, command prompt. Here we can give IPv6 config slash all. And here we can see default gateway what we set for this uh, PC. So we will uh, ping to FE80 double colon 3. And here we can see we are getting the replies. Now we will configure this network that is network 4. Uh, here we can see the network address uh, for this network. 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon a double colon slash 64. Here we can see IPv6 address uh, details. Uh, for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this router r1 we will set 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon a double colon 1 slash 64 then uh, for this interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on this router r2 we will set a double colon 2 slash 64 also we will set the link local ipv6 address on this routers r1 and r2 so first of all we will do it on this router r1 CLI enable configure terminal we will go to that interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IPv6 address FE80 double colon 1 link local IPv6 address 2001 colon DB8 colon AC80 colon A double colon 1 star 64 no shutdown copy running config startup config we will verify the configuration show ipv6 interface brief and here we can see the details uh, for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 here we can see uh, here uh, the status and the protocol down because we have to configure the other end show running config and here we can see the details no ipv4 address ipv6 address link local also here we can see the default clock rate now we'll do it on the server r2 cli enable configure terminal we have to go to that interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 ipv6 address fe80 double colon 2 as link local ipv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon a double colon 2 slash 64 No shutdown. Copy running config, startup config. We will verify the configurations. Show running config. Here we can see the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. No IPv4 address. IPv6 link local address. Here we can see IPv6 uh, global unique cache address. show ipv6 interface brief now here we can see status and protocol both are up now here the link between these routers r1 and r2 is up now we will verify the connectivity uh, in this network 4 so we will ping from r1 to this router r2 coming to r1 Ping to 2001 db8 colon ac80 colon a double colon 2 and here we can see success rate is 100% now we will configure a network 5 and here we can see the network address for this network 5 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon b double colon slash 64 here we can see ipv6 address details uh, for uh, this network uh, for this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 
on this order R2, we will set to 001 colon DB8 colon AC80 colon B double colon 1 slash 64. Uh, on the other end, the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 for this order R3, we will set B double colon 2 slash 64. Also, we will set the link local address. First of all, we will do it on this order R2. CLI configure terminal interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 IPv6 address FE80 double colon 2 as a link local IPv6 address 2001 colon DB8 colon AC80 colon B double colon 1 slash 64 no shutdown copy running config startup config we will verify the configuration by this show command show running config and here we can see the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 here we can see ipv6 a link local address and ipv6 a global unicast address Now we will do it on the server R3. Enable configure terminal interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 IPv6 address FE80 double colon 3 as a link local IPv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon b double colon 2 slash 64 no shutdown copy running config startup config now we will verify the configuration show running config here we can see the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 no ipv4 address here we can see the link local address and here we can see global unicast address show ipv6 interface brief and here we can see now this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 status and protocol both are up here we can see the link between these rulers r2 and r3 is up so we will verify the connectivity uh, uh, in this network we will ping from R2 to R3, coming to R2, ping to 2001 colon DP8 colon AC80 colon B double colon 2 and here we can see success rate is 100%. Now we will configure our last network that is network 6 and here we can see the network address. We planned 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon c double colon slash 64. Here we can see IPv6 address details uh, for these interfaces on these rulers. Uh, for the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 on this router R1, we will set 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon c double colon 2 slash 64. Then uh, this interface that is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. On this router R3, we will set uh, C double colon 1 slash 64. We have to configure uh, the link local address also. So, first of all, we will do it on this router R3. Configure terminal, we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And here we will set IPv6 address. FE80 double colon 3 as a link local. Also, we will set the IPv6 address 2001 colon DB8 colon AC80 colon C double colon 1 slash 64. We have to give no shut command. Copy running config, startup config. And we will verify the configuration, show running config. And here we can see the interface, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0, 
no ip address ipv4 address here we can see the link local address and here we can see the global unicast address also here they set the default clock rate now we will do it on the server r1 cli enable configure terminal interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 ipv6 address fe80 double colon 1 as a link local ipv6 address 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon c double colon 2 slash 64 and we will give no shut command here copy running config startup config and we, we will verify the configuration show running config and here we can see the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 no ipv4 address ipv6 selling local address and here we can see global unicast address everything correct show ipv6 interface brief and here we can see the status and protocol both are up Here we can see the link between the servers R1 and R3 is up. We will uh, verify the connectivity uh, in this network 6. We will ping from R1 to R3. Coming to R1. Ping to 2001 colon DB8 colon AC80 colon C double colon 1. And here we can see success rate is 100%. In this topology uh, total we have uh, six networks so if we consider this server r1 uh, it has uh, three directly connected networks and uh, three remote networks and if we consider this uh, r2 uh, it has uh, three directly connected networks and uh, three remote networks and uh, considering this server r3 uh, it has uh, three uh, directly connected networks and uh, three remote networks now we will verify the routing table uh, on all these uh, routers one by one coming to r1 here we will give a show ipv6 route don't have connected so we will give that and here we can see total uh, three connected networks Coming to the server R2, show IPv6 route. And here we can see three directly connected networks so 1, 2, and 3. And coming to the server R3, enable show IPv6 route. And here also we can see three directly connected networks. 1, 2, and 3. Now we are going to configure a basic EIGRP with the IPv6 on these uh, routers R1, R2, and R3 uh, so that these routers are going to learn uh, their unknown routes. Before that, we have to enable IPv6 routing on all these uh, routers r1 r2 and r3 so first of all we will do it on the server r1 we have to go to global configuration mode configure terminal here we have to give this command ipv6 unicast routing now we will do it on the server r2 ipv6 unicast routing coming to r3 configure terminal IPv6 unicast routing so here for configuring this EIGRP with IPv6 uh, three things we have to do first one is we have to enable EIGRP for IPv6 routing then we have to assign a router ID then we have to configure EIGRP for IPv6 on each interface so first of all we will enable EIGRP for IPv6 routing 
on each uh, routers R1, R2 and R3. So here one thing we have to keep in mind, uh, the IPv6 routing process is shut down by default. So we have to give th this command no shutdown command uh, to enable this EIGRP uh, for IPv6 routing in these routers R1, R2 and R3. First of all we will do it on this router R1. Here we will give IPv6 router. Here we can see EIGRP. Then we have to give an autonomous system number. Here we will give one. Then we have to give a no shut command. Now we will do it on this router R2. IPv6 router EIGRP one no shutdown and coming to R3 IPv6 router EIGRP one no shutdown now we will assign a router ID uh, for these routers R1, R2 and R3 uh, using the command EIGRP router hyphen ID uh, then the ID Right, so first of all, we will do it on this router R1. Here we are going to give EIGRP router ID, and here we can see we can give as IPv4 uh, format EIGRP router ID in IPv4 address format. So here we will give 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1. Now we will come to this router R2. CLI here we will give a EIGRP router ID 2.2.2.2 and coming to R3 EIGRP router ID 3.3.3.3 finally we will configure EIGRP for IPv6 uh, on each interfaces using the autonomous system number as 1. So first of all we will do it on this router R1. We will exit and we will go to uh, each interfaces. First of all we will go to the interface G0 slash 0 and here we will give IPv6 EIGRP then the AS number that is 1. Now we will go to the interface Serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IPv6 EIGRP1 Also we will go to the interface Serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 IPv6 EIGRP1 Copy running config startup config Now we will verify the configuration on this router R1 show running config and here we can see the details ipv6 router eigrp1 here we can see eigrp router id also if you go to the each interface here we can see g0 slash 0 ipv6 eigrp1 here we can see serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 ipv6 eigrp1 Serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 IPv6 EIGRP1 Also we can give the show command show IPv6 protocols and here we can see the details EIGRP1 Here we can see the interfaces. Right. Now we will configure EIGRP for IPv6 on each interfaces on this uh, router R2 using the autonomous system number as uh, 1. Coming to R2. We will exit and we will go to the interface G0 slash 0 and here we will give IPv6 EIGRP1 also we will go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 IPv6 EIGRP1 
here we can see the new adjacency right so we will go to the next interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 ipv6 eigrp1 copy running config startup config now we will do it on the server r3 exit interface g0 slash 0 ipv6 eigrp1 interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 ipv6 eigrp1 interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 ipv6 eigrp1 copy running config startup config now we will verify the routing table on each routers coming to r1 show ipv6 route and here we can see all the uh, six networks three connected and uh, three uh, learned with the help of the protocol eigrp here we can see those networks so here we can see this uh, d d represents uh, eigrp Here we can see, and here we can see the third one. Coming to the server R2, show IPv6 root 1, 2, and 3. Coming to the server R3, show IPv6 route 1, 2, and here is 3. So, all the uh, remote networks are learned with the help of uh, the protocol EIGRP. Finally, we are going to verify the connectivity. Uh, we will ping from PC1 to PC2 and PC1 to PC3. So coming to PC1, desktop, command prompt, ping2, you will give a 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 2 double colon 10. And here we can see we are getting the replies. Now we will ping to PC3. It's a 3 double colon 10 and here we can see we are getting the replies also we will ping from pc2 to this pc3 coming to pc2 command prompt ping to 2001 colon db8 colon ac80 colon 3 double colon 10 and here we can see we are getting the replies Well, in this video, we have seen how to configure basic EIGRP with IPv6. Here we can see all the interface configurations we done on the servers R1, R2 and R3. And here we can see the configuration of EIGRP with IPv6 on each routers. Here we can see the configuration of R1. Here we can see the configuration of R2. And here we can see the configuration of R3. Also here we can see the show commands we used uh, in this uh, video. So friends, if you have any doubt in this uh, configuration of basic EIGRP with IPv6, please comment below. Also, if you like my video, give a thumb 
and share with your friends and if you like to get this type of videos in future consider subscribing thank you